Hey guys, it's Doria Nicole back with another video. So welcome back to the channel if you are not new. If you are new, then welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by today. I am assuming that you are here because you want to see my lovely closet because that is today's video. For those of you who have been here since the beginning, I thank you for sticking around because I know this has been a long process, a long journey, but we are finally here with the closet reveal. So if you are new here in this is your first video, then I would say pause this video and go back and watch the beginning of the series. Um, this is a DIY project of me turning my bedroom or one of my bedrooms into a walk-in closet. And this is the reveal. So if you are new here and you don't want to see the spoiler and you actually want to watch the process, then go back and watch my other videos before you finish watching this one. It's been such a long process. It's been such a long journey. There have been different things happening. And so although my closet is not 100% done, I didn't want to delay this video or push back this video any longer. So I am going to do my closet reveal today. I am very, very proud of myself because this came out a lot better than I thought it would. I started my closet in the summertime i believe i started it in june so it is now the end of january <laughs> and i am finally i would say 95 percent done um there are a few more little things i want to do in this room but i didn't want to delay the video any longer i know i keep pushing it back and i keep pushing it back i keep saying the video is coming the video is coming um but at this point all of the main things are done so anything else will be you know, I'll always do updates on my closet if I get new things as time goes on. But for the most part, my closet is finished. So that is what today's video is going to be. I'm going to be showing you all the finished products. I did um, build every build everything in here. Um, like I said, if you haven't watched my previous videos for this home edition series, then Definitely go back and watch them so you can see the process because this room looked nothing like this before I started. So yeah, this is a very big project. It did turn out a lot better than I expected. I am very proud of myself. I did do this all by myself. Um, and so yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Of course, first things first, if you are here for the first time, if you're not here for the first time, if you like the video, then like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And of course, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from, why you stopped by, what you thought about the video, and what else you would like to see from me. Okay. So without further ado, we are going to get into the reveal of my closet. Okay, so before we get started with the actual closet, the inside of the closet, um, I did want to show you guys one little thing. My because this is a bedroom, there is a closet inside of it. So there's a closet inside of the closet. And so um with this closet i decided to put all of my shoes in here so this is what we have here if you watch my last video i did my um amazon finds my favorite amazon finds and this was one of them i actually ordered these boxes um they come in a set of 12 so there are four sets all of my shoes didn't fit in here i still have some shoes that are not in these i have shoes here which i could put in boxes but these have been here since before i started the closet so i just decided to leave them here i might switch them out and like leave the slides and slippers and put the shoes in these boxes and move them but i haven't decided yet but yeah these are all of my shoes that can fit in the boxes i decided to put them in here just because um, it looks a lot better i can fit more shoes in here um, as you know, with regular boxes, it's usually hard to stack them because they're not all the same sizes. So with these, they're all the same size. All my shoes fit. So I was able to just put them in here and stack them up to the top, which saves me room on the inside of the closet. So I wanted to show you guys this. And then also on the back of the actual door, I have... Um, a little hanging rack you use them for like the bathroom or whatever but I found this cute rose gold one with the little crystal like things at the top and so I decided to put all of my scarves on the back of here so I actually have a ton of scarves I really because I'm always cold I, I love scarves so 
I have a lot of scarves and I didn't really have anywhere else to put them. I could have like folded them and put them somewhere, I guess, but this just seemed a lot more convenient to me to have them all hanging here. Yeah, so my scarves are here. I really think this was the best place to put them just because it doesn't take any space away from the room. They're like on the back of the door out of the way. So that is another thing I ended up doing. And so this is more so an unfinished portion of the closet, I would say. So my original plan was to um, put my Uggs in those boxes that I have in the closet with all the rest of my shoes. However, a lot of them are too big to go in the boxes. So um, I haven't really found a home for my Uggs yet. But being as though I only wear them in the winter, I'm thinking that I might just rock out with them here and then kind of move them to the basement when the winter time is over i haven't decided yet but for now they all live here and then i have um all of my shoes all of my other shoes that don't fit in those boxes in the closet i just have them all situated at the bottom so i figure we might as well start with the main point of the closet which is my closet system um, as you know, if this is not your first time here, if you watch my previous videos, this is the R doll system from Ikea. It is the similar to the popular pack system, but just the cheaper version. So this is the R doll system. I did have to put this together. I did put this together myself. Um, in my first video of this series, you can go back and watch it and see how this was put together. But these lovely things here. <laughs> This is the reason why this video took so long. So these are the drawers for the closet system. When you order the closet system, you get to design it however you want to design it. You measure out your room and you decide whether you want drawers or bars or whatever. So when I originally designed the closet system, I knew that I wanted to have drawers in the middle just because I know that I have a lot of stuff. At the time that I started, I went online to order and the drawers were out of stock. So like out of stock everywhere, not online, not in the store, nowhere. So <laughs> I couldn't get them at all, but I didn't want to hold up the process. I was hoping that the drawers would come back in stock as I went along. So I started my closet system without the drawers. And when I finished my closet system, they still weren't here. I think I finished in, I don't know. I finished before the summer time was over, I think. The drawers still weren't available. The drawers didn't become available until after the new year. The first week of January, the drawers were finally in stock. So I went ahead and ordered the drawers right away. I put these in and I'm very, very glad I did. I probably, I did four. I probably could have done five, um, but I didn't want it to be like not enough space in between. So I stuck with the four. I actually really, really like this. So I actually went back and forth about the shelves. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to keep the shelves, if I wanted to enclose the shelves, or if I wanted to do hanging. I don't know, but I actually like the shelves, so I kept the shelves. So basically on the shelves, I have cardigans and sweaters and turtlenecks, things that really can't be hung um, just because of the material or the stretch or the size or whatever. The second shelf, these are all of my sweatpants. I am a cozy, comfy girl. I do enjoy sweatpants and being relaxed as you can see <laughs> so these are all my soap pants and then the top shelf is my jeans um i did get a question in one of my previous videos regarding the height of everything and whether or not you can reach or like how tall everything is so for me i'm five feet on a good day i'm five feet so <laughs> this is the top i can reach if i stand on my toes i but it's a struggle so i do have a bench that i stand on to get to the top for the hangers it's a little bit easier because they they come out so i can kind of just pull whatever down um so the hanging is not bad at all it's just for if i do need to get to something at the top shelf then i do need to stand on something at the very very top um i have just hats and gloves and things that don't really have a home for the moment um <laughs> I probably will eventually get something else. Like I said, I'm not 100% done. So for now, I have stuff up there. I may move it one day. I may keep it there. Who knows? There is just a long hanging bar that has all of my cardigans and jackets and pants. 
that are hanging up here i have all of my shirts and sweatshirts and sweaters and then at the top i have hoodies and blazers here i have more sweaters and then here are all of my skirts and like shorter dresses and then here is like robes and long things and then dresses and things that are like super long but this is the closet system very convenient it really makes space for all of my things so i can see everything that i have there are a lot of things here that i haven't seen in years i haven't worn in years they still have the tags on them because i buy things and i just kind of put them wherever and then forget about them but this allows me to have all of my things showing so i know where they are i will say this is all winter um winter and kind of like dressy i will switch out so i don't know about you guys but for me i do switch out for seasons because it's easier to pull clothes that way so this will be for winter um and then once spring rolls around i'll kind of gradually shift out and move my winter stuff down to the basement and bring my spring slash summer stuff upstairs so this will look a lot different in the spring slash summer than it does now so maybe i'll come and do like an update for the new seasons but this is what we have for now so i also wanted to show you guys um a cool feature that i added in here which is these lights up here they are motion centered as you can see so um sometimes they get funny like depending on the light situation in here they might not always turn on automatically if this big light is on then they don't turn on automatically just because of the contrast and light and i think that's what's going on here because it's light outside um but there is a remote so if there is a situation where i need all the lights on and they're not coming on automatically it is um controlled by the remote and you can turn them off turn them on um they also dim if you need them to be dimmer or brighter if you need them to be brighter and then they're also on a timer so i thought these were really cool usually in the morning um it's dark outside and so it's really dark in the room and i don't want to turn the big big light on this light here because it's very bright so having these lights here and then the lights from my vanity is always really good so that i can still see and this is the really big light hopefully the glare won't be too too bad but um i did switch out this light here because i wanted something that i felt like went with the room um so this i got from amazon i also posted this in my last video of my amazon finds and i really like this light it's really cute and it is also a fan so um in the summertime or at the springtime when it's a little warmer it does get hot in this room so i can use the fan which is great this did come with a remote but unfortunately i lost it so um there is an app it has an app where you can go on and you can control it from your phone you can dim the light you can change the color of the light you can turn the fan on and all that stuff with the app so i was glad about that because i did end up losing the remote and this is where my bags are housed um again if you watched my last video then this was one of my amazon finds um i really like this as you can see i'm going to need something else to put my bags on just because i'm running out of space but this works for right now i don't have many bags i'm more of like a a tiny wallet crossbody or just like a fanny pack type girl because i don't really like when I'm leaving the house, I'm leaving the house to run errands. So <laughs> I don't usually have like a big, big bag, but I do have a few bags. So this is my little bag corner that I plan on updating soon because I'll need more space. And then this, I also, no, I didn't get this from Amazon. I got this from Ikea. I wanted something to put um, all of my knickknacks in. Like I have hair stuff i have nail stuff and just like other miscellaneous items and so this is very useful there are nine drawers and then the top ones are smaller um smaller drawers and then the bottom ones are the larger drawers and i basically have different things in them like i said this one is all my nail stuff 
um, I have my blow dryer, my flat iron, all that stuff in these drawers. I just felt like this was a good place to house them just because it looks a lot better than them just being everywhere. My vanity also has storage that is being used, which I know is wild. Like I need a whole bunch of storage, but um, yeah, my vanity has storage and so I keep my makeup in this drawer. I'm not gonna open it because it looks wild. I have This is one of the things that I have to work on is um, organizing these drawers. So my makeup is in here. I have like little miscellaneous stuff like scrunchies and whatnot in here. Um, this is all like my face stuff for in the morning. And then these two on the bottom, they both have hair stuff in them. And the lights do work on here. As you can see, the lights come on. I can also change colors if I want to. And of course, make them brighter or dimmer, which is great. So this really works for me. This whole little setup in the lights behind me as well is really, really good for in the morning. Like, you know, we be half sleep in the morning anyway. So to be able to come in here and it not be so loud and bright and I can kind of just like use these lights, I think it's really, really good. It makes me very happy. <laughs> Everything in here I put together myself, super proud, um, love that for me. So if you're wondering, then yes, you can do it because this is my lovely closet and I'm so excited. It turned out a lot better than I expected it. So that was my lovely closet reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys really liked the closet. I really liked the closet. It came out a lot better than I expected it to. Um, honestly, I think it looks a hundred times better in person than it does in the camera on video. So this really does a thing for me, okay? I don't know about you all, but this is really like perfect it's exactly what i envision is exactly what i picture and i'm really really glad that i was able to um do this it makes life a lot simpler for me because <laughs> getting ready when you don't have everything laid out and you don't know where everything is and having to search for everything it is very difficult so i'm very glad that i was able to do this i'm very glad that i was able to share this with you all um, of course, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of the closet is. Um, let me know what things you think I could change in here. Because like I said, I am not completely done. I am still going to add a little bit of stuff. I'm still going to figure out what I want to change here and there. And I'll of course be back with updates as I'm moving along. But for the most part, this little section of my home is done. I am doing a lot of remodeling in my house so the closet was the first series um i don't know why i did the closet first probably just because i wanted all of my clothes to be out of the way <laughs> um because this is what i have most of is clothes and shoes so this is probably the hardest project so i'm actually glad i did this first if you like the closet reveal i know it was a long time coming but definitely give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about it and subscribe to the channel so that you know when i start my next project the next project will be my home office and so that should be very interesting because <laughs> i have no plan like in here i had a plan i kind of knew what i wanted to do as far as my office is concerned i don't really have a plan Plan. I just know that I want to change it. I know that there are things that I want to put in there. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Definitely drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss another video. And I will see you all in the next one.